Gravity, scientifically, is defined as the force of attraction between two masses. And we usually think of it on Earth as a thing that pulls us down or makes us oh, fall. Can you jump into outer space? What happens? Why do you keep coming back down? Do you know why? Not jump high enough? Can you jump higher? Yeah! And thinking of it this way is not wrong, it's just incomplete. The key is that, yes, the Earth does pull down on us, but we actually pull up on the Earth. The reason we fall, though, is because it's the same amount of force that the Earth pulls on us as we pull on the Earth, but the Earth is huge, and so the amount of force is enough to move our mass and accelerate us back towards um, the planet, but we don't have enough force to be able to pull the Earth towards us. So... This leads us to the law of universal gravitation brought to us by Isaac Newton. Both masses are attracted to each other with the same force, so the arrows are in opposite directions. But what happens if they move farther apart? Well, the force arrows get smaller, and this demonstrates that gravity decreases as the distance between objects increases. This kind of is what is going on with us and the sun. We're, our mass is attracted to the sun, and the sun's mass is attracted to the earth. So both planets or the star and the planet, sorry, pull on each other. But why doesn't the Earth go crashing into the sun? Well, the first thing is that we're too far away. And the second thing is that we're moving really, really fast. So we kind of are constantly outrunning the sun. And this is what orbit is. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, if things move closer, you can see that the gravity between them increases as distance decreases. And so a lot of things aren't like to stick towards each other, like these chicken eggs in the box just naturally gravitate towards each other. Um, if mass increases, if the objects get heavier, then gravity increases as well. Um, the, the force of gravity. So it's kind of like the bigger somebody is, um, the harder it is for them to jump off of the planet because the Earth literally does pull on their mass more. And if mass decreases, then um, the gravitational force also decreases. Um, so if we look here at Bowen throwing that bowling ball. Okay, so why can you throw the baseball higher than you can throw the bowling ball? Okay. Okay. Yep. And why can't you throw the bowling ball that high? Okay. It's like Earth. Earth. Can you throw the Earth? <laughs> why not? Okay. So. Like Bowen said, we can't pull the Earth, but the Earth pulls on us. And the Earth pulls on the Moon, and the Earth pulls on the Sun. So the Earth and the Moon pull on each other, um, with equal forces acting, acting in opposite directions. This is Newton's third law. So why doesn't the Earth, or the Moon, sorry, come crashing down into the Earth if the Earth is bigger? Well, first of all, the Moon is too far away, so it has that increased distance, which decreases the gravitational pull. And secondly, um, the moon is moving way too fast for the earth to actually grab onto it and pull it in. So the orbit is a thing that happens when we get far enough away based on mass and move fast enough to avoid being pulled in. The International Space Station is much smaller than the moon, so its orbit gets to be much closer to planet earth. Um, it is 254 miles above planet earth, whereas the moon is 238 thousand nine hundred miles away the moon travels at 0.63 miles per second and the space station travels at 4.67 so even though the space station is closer it must travel faster the last interesting thing with gravity that i want to tell you about is that even though the moon can't pull the earth in and the earth can't pull the moon in the moon is actually responsible for our tides because the gravity of the moon is enough to attract the water on earth to it and so the water kind of bulges out towards the moon and uh, travels with the moon. So if you're ever wondering what high tide and low tide is gonna look like when you're at the beach, see where the moon is. And when the moon is straight overhead, will be high tide. And when the moon is to the side, um, either at sunrise or sunset, that will be your low tide.